Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of this video where we will be in our lab and performing a few patient leakage test steps on our class one medical device which I have right here. And let's go over the connections. The first thing is the first patient connection on the front of this device which I've plugged one of my probes at. On the rear panel, I have another patient connection where I've connected my second probe and the device's line cord is plugged in to its line input and the other end of that line cord is plugged into the adapter box of our leakage current tester. I have already programmed two patient leakage tests into our leakage current device and the first step is for a single patient connection. So we'll make sure that the current flowing from one patient connection to ground is measured properly and in the second step we will be testing between two patient connections, measuring the current that can flow from one patient connection to the other. So with that said, let's take a look at our test parameters. And the first parameter is the leakage high value, which is the maximum allowable leakage current per the IEC 60601 test standard. The next two values are the voltage high and the voltage low. This will make sure that the voltage that I'm testing at uh, stays within the limits and I'm testing this device at 264 volts, which is 110% of 240. I have a test dwell time of one second, uh, delay time of two seconds, and then I have an open ground fault condition that I'm going to simulate in this test. I have my measuring device circuit selected as 60601 and I have my probe set to probe high to line for one patient connection and in the next step, the only difference is that my probe configuration will be probe high to probe low to make sure that I'm measuring between two different patient connections. So let's run this test and see what type of results we get. So our test is complete and let's take a look at the results for the first step, the leakage current for a single patient lead was measured to be 70 microamps and that's the current that was flowing from a single patient connection to the lower side of the power supply or the reference side of the power supply. For the second step, where we were measuring current leakage current between two patient leads, it turned out to be about 7.5 microamps and that's the current that was flowing from one patient connection to the other while the device was running. Thank you for taking time to view this video and we would love to hear back from you so please reach out to us.